fact that we're, we hadn't won a match this whole year after losing the double score, it just adds more to the pressure. But, but they responded, you know, I mean, I, there's uh, Adam and, and Gustavo getting on the board quickly, I think, to really help this team. And at one point, you know, it's just, you know, Tommy battling to take that match into the third. Uh, Shrikar possibly could have won his second set to take the uh, take that match. But, um, you know, we lost one, we won one there. And, um, and uh, but, but David really hung in there, being down a break in the third early um, to love won four points, four games straight, and uh, and we came indoors on serve, but um, it just served lights out in here, and Tommy just, you know, back-to-back -to -back days, even though he didn't get to finish his match against Corpus Christi, he is just a bulldog, you know, just he's, he's relentless in his effort and intensity, and uh, it wears the opponents down. I mean, he's now played three matches in a row with San Diego State, and, and uh, good tennis player at one. Um, Certainly, Twain's Kopfer is a good player, and Nagy at Eastern. I mean, every single one of those guys just a bit fell victim to, to Tommy's energy, his fitness, and his uh, relentless fighting spirit. Uh, that's what that's what you want to see from your number one player. You know, he's really stepping up there and and uh, paving the road and and, and and really leading the way for everybody else. Yeah, it was so. a very um, up and down match. Uh, Lost the first one, went down in the first one pretty early. I managed to come back slightly, but then he started playing good and took that one from me. Um, the second one was tight throughout the whole thing. I got a little bit, I don't know if it was lucky, uh, just managed to play well at the right times. Um, had good support back at JKS, which was nice. People pulling me through. And then uh, in the third set, I, was, I felt like I was getting momentum. And then unfortunately, the rain came. And I'm not typically as good indoors, so I was a little bit nervous to see if I could hold on to it. But we came in here, all the guys made a ton of noise on the side and uh, helped me get through, so really, really happy about it. Yeah. I think we were doing, even though the record maybe didn't show it, we were doing the right things, but in some of the matches, we all didn't show up. And some people played well and other people didn't. But now, as a team, we're starting to play much better and everyone's competing hard, and, and it's really showing. And these close matches that we're winning, it's because not because we had good forehands or good backhands, but because we were all showing up and we're all competing and we're not going away. Very proud of all the guys. I think the guys that who got done with their matches, who didn't play, uh, really has a, as much to do with this uh, win as the actual guys that won their matches because they did a phenomenal job keeping our guys, uh, you know, energized and focused and uh, really in the matches, even when it felt like they may be fading away. So. A full team effort, and um, very very happy to actually have repeated and won the 56th uh, Rice Invitational. So.